Good morning. Welcome back. I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, well, it's 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 a good day, and I, as I understand, you guys are always doing wonderful programs down there. And as you have actually educated us, everybody thinks Guam Windward Memorial, this beautiful park, and you know you can commemorate everybody. But you guys actually have a lot of programs and a lot of interesting interesting things going on. As as I understand it, you guys have a wonderful uh, bit of documentation you'd like to share with us this morning too. Yes, yes, I do. So I know in past weeks I talked about um, our grief support program. Um, but then today, I just want to talk about my virtual background kind of messing me up, but <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Um, it's just this book that we have, and it's called The Final Witches Planner. There and, you go. Um, it's Got it's it. actually, we, we recommend this to any family, whether you have a plan or not. It's a free resource, to, and we do consultations for free, but um, there are actually, Jason, 67 things that you need to plan, that the family needs to plan after a loved one passes away. Mm. So 67 um, sounds a little bit daunting. Is that, I mean, considering everything you're going through in the moment anyway, but is, is, does, does that make it like a little bit easier? Because as you know, it's a little bit hard to start, but then once you kind of hit the groove, it, it actually yes, makes it easier to, yes, to... absolutely. So, um, we take care of, um, personal history, important documents, any, um, bank, any banking information, any veteran information, and any funeral and cemetery arrangement. So um, one of the really interesting uh, interesting things is um, like if you're married, right? Do you want to wear your wedding ring when you're buried? Or do you want to leave it behind to someone? And if mm-hmm. you're going to leave it behind to someone, um, who would that be? Or um, what do you want your headstone to say? Um, who are the family members that you want to include in your obituary? Um, what what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? What things would you like being said in your eulogy? So um, a lot of decisions to make. Do you have a favorite song that you would like to be played? And you know, when when a family is planning a funeral and their loved one has not planned ahead, that ties hand in hand with grief, right? Because there's so many decisions that you have to make and the family wants to make sure that it's the most perfect decision um and that can be a very daunting and stressful task we want to honor Um, grandma the way she would want to be honored but at the same time we have no idea what that is because she didn't say anything right (laughs) yes exactly and um you know it's not uncommon for um different family members to have all these different opinions and so sometimes that can cause even more grief because then now we see familial uh, uh, conflict. Mm-hmm. And so having this book and writing things down is just a good way. Um, and it's really nice because in the very back, right, we have actually a letter for the loved one. And you write your letter and you sign your name and you date it. So you can always say this is in my handwriting. It's my wishes, nobody else. And I filled this out by myself. Okay, Maisie, I do have a question though, because I'm, and that's a you you very beautifully, very eloquently, and very thoroughly like explained like everything that has to be done, and I can see how this would be absolute catharsis for the person writing this down. They're like, I have a sense of peace because I've expressed you know uh-huh. my wishes, my intent. But you kind of spoke everything from uh, from the first person, right? You say these are my wishes, and this is what things I would put on paper and everything. Mm-hmm. Is the intent of this to be filled out by an individual, just kind of like? off in the corner kind of by themselves maybe you know lock themselves in the den and have you know take a couple hours to really think about it or should this be like an interactive uh family group project where where the 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 wishes are known and they kind of like collaborate on it i know it's weird to kind of like frame it like that yeah great question jason so some some people ask oh maybe can you just give me this and i'll fill it out at home we actually ask that you meet with us in person So we can, one, we can answer any questions that you have. Mm. Two, we know that if we give this to you, there are a lot of uncomfortable questions that may not be answered unless you're sitting with somebody. So usually when you come in for a consultation, we ask for um, you and your other half. So your your spouse or maybe the person that would be in charge of taking care of those arrangements. So your oldest child, um, whoever that might be. But um, this is also not something that you give away. So once I have it filled out, it has a lot of sensitive information, right? Like um, who do I bank with and what are my passwords for my social media, things like that. So this Oy. is something you want to let people know that you have. That, that is an important can... thing, though. I mean, you know, uh-huh. and we should because, you know, and it's weird, but, you know, my, my father 
uh, left us about three years ago. My, my dad died and everything. And I actually got a Facebook friend request from him like last week, which was really, really awkward. So, yeah. so although, although, you know, some people may be saying like, oh, funny, haha, like that, that's kind of an, in, kind of a quirky thing about social media passwords. That is yet another thing that you at least have to consider, if not completely take care of, you know, when it comes to time to filling out this guide. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, this has a lot of sensitive information. So people say, maybe can I leave this with you? No, please don't leave it with me. Um, <laughs> you take it, you put it in a safe place. Um, you know, you can put it in a safe. What I recommend, Jason, is that just a regular, um, so my information, I keep my information in just a regular free ream binder, just something plain. And I put stuff like my birth certificate, my marriage license, everything like that, this book, and it's just inconspicuous, but in plain sight. Mm -hmm. So when I pass away, I just let them know, you know, there's this binder that I have that will have everything that you need. Well, from your point of view, are, have there been any funny moments, like you said, when you get um, like uh, spouse A and spouse B sitting down together and you're like, okay, so, you know, what would you like to do with uh, your ring? And maybe the husband would say, oh, I'd like to give it to someone. And the wife turns and is like, uh, no, you're going to wear that for the rest <laughs> until the end of time. Hello. <laughs> a very funny um, personal story about this. So um, oh, do after tell. I created this, I wanted to make sure that it worked, that it was comprehensive. So I asked my husband, I said, hey, let's do this together, right? Let's do this together. This is my job. So I probably should do this. Be the mm -hmm. first one to do this. So I said, you know what? I know you so well. I could probably fill this out by myself. I could probably guess all your wishes. So uh, we went through the book together and I was like, you would want this, you would want this, you would want this. And he was like, yep, those are all things that I would like. And I said, oh, Jamie, what about um, special music, right? And I said, I don't actually know what you would want for special music. And he's like, oh, at the burial site? And I was like, yeah, what would you like for music? And he goes, funky town. I said, no. <laughs> 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 you can't you can't hey, you can't blame him for trying give the give the guy points for at least trying you know trying to do the right thing um i was pretty shocked shout out to I Maisie's have. husband by the way for at least trying it i was like i i am so i was so shocked because i feel like i know him very well um but i was completely floored by that answer and he's like you have to write it those are my wishes this is exactly what i want so um i think that's a pretty funny story that, it, that definitely... well thank, thank you thank you for sharing and hopefully th this has kind of like softened the blow of some people that were maybe on the fence about doing this because uh as uh -huh. we wrap up because we're out of time unfortunately like Maisie, um this kind of thing can be a little uncomfortable a little awkward maybe even a little weird and a little scary and everything like that but i mm -hmm. think you have abundantly proven that that this is a good thing and this this is a positive thing yeah. for you and your family and everything like that so real quick how can people contact you uh if they would like to talk sure. to you about the final wishes um so my name is Maisie, and you can call me and that's 688-6371 and i can get you through, uh scheduled with me or one of our family service advisors all right thank you so much we really enjoy talking to you each and every, um, every time you come on so thanks so much Maisie. have a wonderful all right day. thank you jason all right so that's greater good of course brought to you by guam windward memorial and jay goodman jay goodman's a happiness company at guam windward memorial as Maisie just demonstrated beyond all shadow of a doubt they celebrate life at jay goodman they've got quality products the best customer support and friendly service they're open 24 7 at guamgoodman.com pick up in person or get your delivery Get your uh, order delivered online free. Order with confidence because it is the Jay Goodwin way.